Good morning and uh, welcome uh, to European Morning Call. Uh, stocks in Europe are weaker uh, today, uh, down about 1%, giving back uh, yesterday's gains. Um, and we see the FTSE just trading off that 62 handle down here, uh, testing this region here. Around 61.60, uh, perhaps contested 61.40 uh, level here that was struck overnight on the futures. Uh, and then we've got um, support coming in here, chief support coming in here around 60, uh, 60.40. Um, uh, US markets closed slightly weaker yesterday. They had been up for most of the day, but um, ignoring Donald Trump attacking Twitter and signing an executive order, which did see Twitter shares down about 4%, um, but uh, largely ignoring all that. Uh, but then uh, towards the end, the White House said that uh, Trump will hold a press conference uh, today on uh, China relating to the Hong Kong situation. Um, markets didn't really like that and the S&P closed slightly weaker. Um, we've seen the US, uh, Australia, Canada and the UK sign a joint statement condemning China's actions in, in passing this national security legislation um, and then uh, uh, we, are, we are witnessing a ramping up in US-China tensions off the back of this of course. Um, is set against the backdrop of the coronavirus, which Trump blames on uh, on China, uh, and of course the trade war, which has been rumbling on for 18 months. So um, U.S.-China tensions are a source of concern, but not massive at the moment. Uh, but we wait to see if they can, things might get worse. Um, commodity markets, we did see a draw, uh, sorry, a build uh, in uh, in crude inventory stocks rose 7.9 million barrels. So, against expectations for a slight draw, uh, but crude is uh, hovering just about in the middle of this sort of range that we've been in uh, since the consolidation. We saw this ramp up to around here, and then we've been in a consolidation pattern since, um, and we are uh, just about um, in the middle of this, uh, of this range which we could draw the lines here. Uh, so we're just about in the middle of this range. So we're still still tracking this consolidation pattern here and we will um, uh, see how uh, how long this lasts, whether it marks the top for the market, near term top, or whether or not we, we're just in a sort of pause before another leg higher. Um, so a few things happening today, PCE numbers from the US income and spending numbers will be closely watched after yesterday's jobless numbers showed another 2.1 million people claiming for unemployment benefit. Data overnight has been, been a bit shaky in Japan, retail sales, industrial production figures down 9%. So um, heads up on the PCE numbers later, that's at 1.30 uh, uh, UK time. Thanks very much for watching.